Hello, today we took a look at Grasshopper again and we take a look at this kind of structure that is um, made out of kind of woods, kind of um, as this office renovation that we have here. It's this kind of ceiling structure that has this wave to it and is usable kind of in a way of helping with the sound and making the, the area to have like a very nice effect. And here we can basically see those lines, how they basically distributed at the same distance to each other, as well as the waveform that is going through. And what we have on the script here is basically the same thing. We have um, a certain like beginner's line here, then the outline of the shape itself. And then we can obviously as well adjust um, the heaviness of those things and the frequency as well as the amplitude of how heavy uh, this thing shall be. So um, we will just start with a brand new grass profile and I will show you like step by step of how we will make it. So first of all um, we were just creating a pole line that's basically the outline of the seed that we want to have that we have here now. And then we're also going to create a curve that will basically define the distance that those waves coming through. So we first import the polygon with um, double clicking the grasshopper canvas and typing in geometry. Right click, set one geometry and set the geometry of this um, geometry that we just created. Um, and we're going to do the same thing and type in double click, type in geometry again, right click, set one geometry and set the curve. And so now as you see, if I click on those things, um, it lights up which of those two things are meant in green. Otherwise they're like now displayed in red as well. The next thing we have to do, we have to go to the surface mesh, a uh, surface tab and go under utilization, like util, and we can define the surface frames. And we want to use the, basically the base rectangle. And to get that, we need to um, go under freeform and use the boundary surface in order for it to define the surface to begin with. So we will just import this in here. And we, as we see, we have like now a lot of dots basically that are like all over the place. It's like planes, but um, we just actually only need the dots um, for it to work. So we use the point command, and then you see we right click, deactivate this, and then we see those dots. We're going to do as well, um, we make the surface kind of more, if you want to change the uh, X or Y parameters, we're gonna, uh, double click the canvas again, type in 20, and then we have a number slider that goes back and forth, and we put this in the U and in the V count of uh, the surface frames. And as you see, it defines a very nice amount of points at the surface. So now that we, did, that we have that set, we basically need to define um, uh, the distance between the points and make a certain wave function. Um, a very good way to do this, this is by making actually some uh, a distance tool. So we can use basically the distance between this and uh, those points. And in order to do that, we actually can use the under the curve. And then we have to use the command. No, actually under curve. Uh, utilization and we use the command it doesn't I don't know where it is no wait let me double pull point on curve I oh, am yeah. curve closest point it is under curve analysis and basically right uh, here and we use the curve that we have set in the beginning um, as our whoops, as our main curve. And we're gonna use the points that we came out as our main points. 
and that basically defines the distance like each of the, those points found a point on this curve that is the closest and what it also gives us it gives, gives us the distance between uh, those points as well so um, we have a clear distance and this distance then now will be when we double click and make the sign function it basically creates um, variables between I think 0 like 3.1 and uh, 0 and a negative uh, 3.1 and that will let us make uh, the points move up and down so in that way we will be able to generate a certain like flow um, to up and to make it down so we just use the move command and we're gonna use those points that we have in the beginning here and we put use unit z and put in that here as well and right now we already see kind of the, the points here as well we're gonna right click uh, middle click and disable preview and then we're actually gonna use um the nerves curve commands like this and already creates our little pattern that we want to have and to make this a little bit more adjustable we actually have to use some multipliers between the sinus and as well um, at the after the sinus before the sinus and after the sinus so we can now use multiply and we're going to put a number slider here as well like that and we just replace it basically copy that put it here and what it basically makes it it makes those like more uh, like first of all more, more drastic and i think it also that yeah, makes it spread out more or like make it more regular or irregular and let's just deactivate those points so nice now already or have a very nice surface that we can use and we can obviously adapt it to our needs how we want to have it actually like the way we had it before a lot kind of change it around you can also always change the curvature as well uh, a lot so it always adjusts to our needs now we need to give it like a certain thickness and we use it without any plugins so we're gonna use just um you're just gonna move it uh, to the y direction basically so put in the y one here make it a little i think i actually put it in the wrong one here but yeah it needs to be no it's actually correct yeah mm -hmm. so now we have actually let me see this from the top yeah i think this could be correct um it might be y or um y or z like it, it depends really like on how you have it for the moment and now we can create like a ruled surface between these two between the moved one and the other one and now we already have that at least and then we can also kind of we have to extrude them as well so we use the extrude command use the basis of that kind of do it like this and then we use the direction z again and put in another value in there as well so we have a certain thickness to it as well and obviously if you want to have this thing like more, more like dense we can just adjust the curve frame amount a little bit more and then we already have it more dense in a way, in a way to of having it more um, visible for the naked eye actually let me increase that number a little bit so it gives some sort of thickness to it maybe put in the z, z factor might be more useful yeah so you have this nice kind of um thing that we had and that i was showing you before with the thickness of the walls but then also the defined curvature and we like don't want to overdo it and maybe we actually want to yeah, decrease that a little bit here let me see let's 
too much. Now that lip looks like a lot more. So why I like to have it. Um, you either have two options right now. You can either just like um, basically click those and just bake it in the geometry, and then you would obviously have it in the geometry and you can render it, for example, directly and have it in your design. But I think a good way to have a good representation, for example, if you would have some, actually, let me delete this, and we have some kind of boxes in the space that define the area more or less. Put another one here. I don't know, I'm not sure about my design, obviously. And I'm gonna just put a rectangle on the floor like normal. And with that, we just basically have our main construction here at the moment. And now we can just use the custom preview and make a color, color picker. Writing is hard. And with that, we might be able to choose a nice color for it and just input those here. Make the other ones with the middle click visible. And now we basically have a more like determined shape of the place. If you can kind of already have it like a little bit rendered and have some certain base uh, functionality to it. And then again, if you if you always decide to change the design a little bit, make it a little more smooth or less smooth, it's always adjustable to the likings um, of the things. So if you're unhappy with this form, you can literally just like change around really quickly and have it to your needs. And I think that's like a really cool, cool thing to do. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can take something out of it. And yeah, see you in the next one. And enjoy your learning experience with Grasshopper.